And hello and welcome back to Faint Hello Anoraxia last time. Uh Shinji. You know. Uh he showed what he looked like on the inside. Let's say that. Uh, this time we have this part-time job thing. Let's stay for overtime. <laughs> Good work. I I want to get this out of the way because this is such a annoying one to get to. You have to go to you have to go to <laughs> You have to go to, uh, school to get it done on that first day. The lights are all on, and I expect everyone should be already home at this hour. I decided to walk back home, but it got pretty chilly as the sun went down. For now, I have dinner. I'll take a bath, and decide what to do after a good rest. Shiro, like a dog. On it, I, I gotta be honest, that, that was the impression I was getting. It was. Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, that reminds me, before I move on too far. Uh, so it was a couple episodes ago, but I recorded all the last two episodes in the same sitting. But uh, apparently, the uh, quiz that I did, I was actually misinterpreting that. So, it was apparently in reference to, and honestly, I forgot it was even a thing, but when people mentioned in the comments, like, oh yeah, uh, the fact that uh, the servants had actual, like, graded scores for how good they were, and uh, what it, when, it, when it said A, what was lower than A, it literally meant like a B, C, D, what, what did she have B, C, D, and stuff like that, and it was saying when she was uh, being, when her master was written during all the different events. Which makes sense enough. And uh, multiple people noted that basically everything in those is in the games at some point, one or another. And uh, I sort of figured that, but it's more like, oh yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, of course I'm gonna remember this, because I'm obviously paying attention to this. <laughs> the shit! Like I, re like, I even remembered the, like, 700 years sort of thing. I just didn't remember what 700 years. It's like, what? Why would I remember that much detail? <laughs> uh... Uh, ah, uh, the, thus the welcome back, I guess. I was a little unprepared. Take my surprise, I lost my train of thought. I'm gonna answer that with a yes. Did she explicitly? Well, she just said, welcome back, technically, not a... Hmm. This feels a little pandering. It honestly does. I bash the gate with Saber. When things like this happen so naturally, you always realize their importance after the fact. Maybe someday, being greeted like this will be something I can look back on as a precious memory. Was that... that was literally the everything for the main story part of it? Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Hey, Casta. Hey, guess, guess, guess. What are you doing, Emiya? Apparently visiting Gaster, not you. So, meh. Yeah, me too. No, Tori, Zoukin gake da kedo. I am. Did I offer to? Wait, no. I I thought I I, I vaguely remember thinking like I should talk to Issei and organize something that I can come over and help him do it. I bring out the washcloth, and uh, dirty black water drips into the bucket. Yeah, that's As part of my strength training routine, I try to utilize the muscles I don't normally use by going up and down the long flight of st uh, stone steps. He says, older brother came by. Oh, Shiro-kun. 
掃除などいかがかな I still don't know if, the, like,、hmm. if he's the sort of person to take advantage of other people. I, I don't think so, because that's not how people have talked about him, but we haven't really met him enough to know one way or the other.、Uh, seeing the motivation that I had to train my body, I was asked to assist with the temple cleaning. Exchanging a brief reading with the ever present assassin at the temple gate, I entered the temple grounds. Wait, he was. I thought he normally hid from people's view. I was expecting to be sweeping up the fallen leaves for sure, but also eventually got dragged into the temple hall. Sure, buddy. Issei takes a deep breath. Amazed, or not, kind of hard to tell. いや、生徒会のことで散々頼っている俺が言えることではないか。いいことです。しかし、頼まれればお前は友人宅の掃除まで引き受けるというのか場合によるけどな。前も、父さんの家の掃除とかもしてきたし。な、no, don't mention that. I keep the keys while she's away too, and so he says his approval grows even stronger. どうしたいやエミアにそのような仕事まで押し付ける遠坂に対する怒りよりも結果的に遠坂と同じことを頼んでいるという現状にややめまいよな。Are you mad that you're now on Tosaka's level? Nonetheless, now that I am Tosaka's apprentice cleaning the master's house is also part of my job. Who told you that? <laughs> One should always tidy up after making a mess. This is k e y Mm hmm. Stress. レイカンからエミアに差し入れだが一休みする前に手を洗ってくる方が先だな。キズキ先生、ケイムロンウィッチレイ。Looks like some teen Japanese sweets.It doesn't take long to notice that these are a whole class above our tea cakes.Probably reserved for guests. そういちろアニ。レイカンアニは来ないのですかああ。ダンカの方が来られたので。そちらの相手に回っているどうもですあじゃあ手を洗ってきますけど戻ってくるのはここでいいんですか神仏の前では落ち着かないかんでは私の部屋にしようあいにく来客用の部屋は使用中だ OK The whole scene is quite bizarre. You want to put on some music, guys? No? Okay. We're drinking tea in Kusuki Sensei's room, sitting around a tray. As if personally assigned to us, Kusuki Sensei is pouring us tea. But I still can't settle down. Ah,、uh, Looking around the room, I realize there's a whole lot of cupboards and odd looking bottle ships all over the place. So, did I switch perspectives? Normally, they use this sort of like box off view when it shifts perspectives during a scene.、Uh, the reason is that those are all made with Western liquor bottles rather than 1.8 liter Japanese ones.、Uh, but I do wonder what's inside all those cupboards. I didn't realize until I actually came in here, but this is also the newlywed caster's room. Hmm. Newly wet. Wait, are they officially married? Oh, yeah, and I also forgot I came here for Caster, didn't I? In that case, inside there. Emiya. Chada. Yeah, I think that was still e m i a s perspective. Kuzuki Sensei's voice brings me back to reality. I accept the offer teacup and a nice smell floats into the air. As I thought, this must be pretty high quality fare. Haha, <laughs> it rhymed. I wouldn't be,、uh, it wouldn't be polite to ignore it, so I helped myself to the tea cakes, too. Sweet taste.、Uh, sweet tastes particularly great after hours of hard work, and even more so together with delicious tea. s a r a would be delighted if I brought her a few. She'd also be probably pretty into the like, cleaning the floor part of it, too. Yep, nods, you say. Kusuki Sensei just continues sipping tea, expressionless as always. 
いくらか持って帰るかそこまでしてもらうのは悪いんじゃないのかちょっと雑巾が消しただけだぞ別に構うまい In that case, I guess it's okay to take a few souvenirs. The second I thought that, the door slides open, and I'm gonna guess our new guest is going to eat the rest. So, Ichiro sama, o s h o k u j i no j u n b i ga deki mashita. Or get mad over the. Wait, was、uh, actually, Kusuki might not have been、uh, actually eating them. Maybe that's why he wasn't. Or maybe he was. I don't know. Caster still holding a tray looks at me curiously. Hi, I know it's a, it's a fantastic name I have, the boy. And that's all I can manage. The part about、uh, the flight of stone steps would be quite difficult to start from, too. But more importantly, the stuff on one tray finally caught my interest. Uh, the food that had just been put down on the nearby desk must be today's lunch. So, you're going to do I know. Why would I? Well, rather than complain, I'm just wondering about the artless、uh, simplicity of it, but. Okay, she's probably. It's burnt, flooded with oil, and to top it off, kind of gaudy. Ah.、Uh, well, I'm guessing she's insecure about it. It's yellow. I don't think it's red. No, perhaps violet is the best word for it? That's a pretty significant spectrum of colors there, and all mean very different things if you found your food with that color. What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. ね、Quite well, in fact. Ah, Isei chimes in right away. Because it's a fact. Ah, yeah. To be correct, he tries it all the time in the student council room. Even if Caster isn't that great at cooking, I can understand why. She is originally a king's daughter, in other words, royalty. While she probably has no experience with things like cooking, she is certainly persistent. And then again, it's just not right for a hero to be good at cooking in the first place. Is it? Um. I'm trying to think. Like, do, do any of the heroes we know, are, are they good at cooking? Berserker! Berserker is fantastic at cooking, I'm sure of it! Like that red one. One of the dark skin or with white hair. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. You're, you're gonna be subtle about that, eh? Hmm. Amy, you're a little bit of a talk. Eh? Oh, hi. Zuto, Jisu, you're still in the day. Hmm. After this unusual display, as if. After this unusual display, as if. Having thought of something, Casta, Jibun no Gijus ni Hikime o Kanjiru no de Araba, Amy and Yoshi o Ukete Mitewa Dora. Thank goodness it came from him at least. He just proposed something outrageous. Huh? The three of us react simultaneously. Murong, Futari na Yosho Sureba no Hanashitanga. He continues indifferently as if our reaction did not disturb him in the least. This time it's Issei and me, who never thought Caster would agree to this. Yeah, I, I, I figured it would only really come about if Caster, or if、uh, Kusuki said it to her. Probably because it means that he thinks that it's a good idea, which will convince her alone. Because I imagine a lot of her insecurities on it are born out of his opinion of the situation. Yeah? Or her perception of his opinion of the situation. Everyone's looking at me now. Well, it's true, I'm the only one that hasn't replied yet. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if Caster is just dying over there or is happy. Because it could be one of, one of either. Having received the souvenirs of Mise, I leave Ryota Temple behind. Hmm. Do I didn't leave with her, did I? Well, whatever. I assume it's a for another day sort of thing. If we can even get past these four days with her still intact. For now, I wonder what the heck I should teach her. <laughs> I mean, you probably want to get a feel for where she is in, in like, all of it first, right? That probably were, uh, would be where you want to start, yeah? I make my way along the forest path to the hill behind the temple. Today is another nice day. Once I pass through this curtain of trees, a view of the fresh blue sky and the mountains should be waiting for me. Should it? Ah. My field of vision expands. Uh, and hello and welcome back. Apparently I forgot to check to make sure I had hard drive space to record. Because normally I don't have to worry about this. Because it takes up so relatively small space. <laughs> I didn't have the space. Uh, welcome back. My field of vision expands to this thing. I'm not sure what I got up to before uh, my recording just stopped on me because I ran out of space. But that looks like a mountain of uh, either weeds or bodies but you know neither or the spectacle that greets my eyes is that of a pile of corpses neato but the one facing off against that abstract scenery isn't me it's the man with the same origin as me reciting an unpleasant sutra you know he probably does think of him as a different person basically I would in any situation, at the very least. Personally, I'm of the mind... Oh my god, that... Let, let's... Okay, white sunlight burns my eye. Let's get past having this as a background noise. There are still traces of summer left here at the Rio Temple. <laughs> Looks like the strong sunlight has blinded me for a second, and that background noise is really starting to drive me up a wall in like five seconds flat. As if all the colors had been inverted, the scenery appeared black for just an instant. Oh, God, okay, it's not going away. I'm just going to room my headset for a second. Uh, so, yeah, if I was Emiya, I wouldn't really consider him the same person as me. Because even in my life, when I think about it, like, who am I? I think of it more in terms of... The person you are today is a different person than the person you were yesterday. You're always growing, becoming a different person, that sort of thing. And if someone with, as he said, the same origin as you developed into that person in a different say timeline then that's them maybe i'll become that person one day but i'm not now and there's a chance i never will be basically and i put my headset back on i'm already annoyed uh, though i'm sure he's been aware of my presence for quite a while he doesn't spare so much as a glance in my direction everything else i saw was just an hallucination caused by vertigo but he sure wasn't Oh, I could have just gone another three seconds or whatever. Hey, buddy. Still gonna kill me? You look really, really square in your drawing at the moment. You got, like, really squarish looking arms and hands, and your butt looks pretty square. You can see the, see the fabric wrinkles on that butt. We wait in silence. <laughs> Emiya just waits around, gawking at his potential butt. In awe. Uh, what we saw, or not we saw, was the same. The first to break the silence would prove his own impurity. <laughs> That's weird. The tension is exasperated by the sound of insects. I look closely at that familiar back. Now that I think about it, why isn't he wearing his red mantle? Hmm. I don't think he was in any of the other stuff that we did. Interesting. I can understand that it would be too hot to wear it in summer, but it's already fall. No, more importantly, he isn't the type of guy that would remove his arm limits like that because of the weather. But still, the sun's getting in the way. 
This is a favorite spot of mine, but having this many nuisances here is enough to make me want to pick a fight. Hey, you're not in that high place. Hmm. The forehead that the arrow had pierced recalls the pain that I'll eventually feel. Ah, uh, so you're not retaining the memory. At any rate, I have to, uh, I have to cause everything that could possibly happen to occur. Kill or be kill. Once I cause both to happen, I only have to choose the outcome that's more convenient. So what are you up to? You didn't go with Tosaka ultimately? Can I ask you about why? Did she think it would be suspicious or something? Hmm. Uh, or more precisely, I haven't been able to go. Yamatoka,夜中の神徒には近づくな。宮間町から橋を越えようとすれば、いらぬ攻撃を受けることになる。うーん。はあ、なんだそれ。お前が門番でもしてるってのか。神徒一体は私の射程だ。Does the arm seem longer than they should be? They're not that bad, but they feel longer than they should be. Like his arms feel off for some reason in the art. Oh, anyone and everyone? From what he's saying, he's driven back the other servants already. And because of that, Lancer Rider and Caster can't come near Shinto at night. Lancer's place of residence should be the church, but maybe he camps out in the mountains. Well, leaving that aside. How about Kyogi? Sore wa ore mo? Omae wa reigai da. Ikaku nashi de miken o uchinoku. Fantastic. He's not lying. The bowman's intent to kill me is real. Ah, kireta. Mada ore o koroshita gatte danda. Tousaka ga inai ima ga chance te koto ga? Iu ma de mo ai. Rin ga karamu to komi itta hanashi ni naru kara na. I would agree with that. As much as she likes competition, Tosaka isn't the type that goes looking for a fight. But if one starts, she's the kind that would get involved. And as long as she's in it, she'll aim to come out on top.誰かが一戦始めるまでは様子を見る。そういえば、お前にはまだ聞いてなかったな。アーチャー。この状況をどう思ってる。サーバントとして戦うつもりはない。だが、留守を任されている以上、ミスゴスことはできん。うん。うん
My mouth twists eagerly into a grin and... Yeah, but why would he care? I smoothly evade his urge to kill me. Don't turn your back to him, don't turn your back to him. I begin to head down the mountain. Ooh. Provocation and readiness are in his voice. The bowman has proclaimed that he would fight not just me alone, but Saber and her master. If that's the way you want to play it, great. Let's meet again once I'm ready. A noble determination that wipes away my course lust for blood. This is our license to kill each other. An invisible letter of challenge that has definitely been passed between the two of us. Hmm, fantastic. <sighs> at full health. How do I get there at full health? Define that. Hmm. So are we at a point where we're at a point where we can do it? Oh, let's go do it. Yep. Let's go. Let's go, Archer. We step onto the boundary of Miyama and Shinto. I recall the words he once said to me. This little area is my shooting range. Those who enter. How many times have I been shot? Once. Several times. Whenever I cross that bridge. You're an exception. I will shoot you between the eyes. I ended up being defeated by you. Means what it concerns you. It's a reenactment of the unfulfilled heavens feel. Something, something, something. I feel my pulse quickening. The blood that has been sleeping starts flowing. And the rusted circuits start activating. Sorry to keep you waiting, partner. My preparations are all in place. I'm coming to take you down. It's weird that he seems to understand at this point that he's gaining memories from variations of the world that may or may not have happened, but he doesn't seem cognizant of it, as in, like, he's, like, sitting down thinking, isn't that a little weird? Maybe we should act on that specifically. It's weird that he's doing that. He seems like... Like, how he's talking about it makes it sound like he's actually actively aware of it. But whatever. Uh, the bridge is deserted. Safer Saber and me. Tonight, with no cars on the roadway. Not even the sound of the wind blowing from the search. Uh, from the sea reaches my sense of thoughts. Maybe he just understands subconsciously? I guess the narration isn't necessarily a direct transcript, uh, transcript of his thoughts, but his actions make him seem like he doesn't understand it, but the narration makes it sound like he does. The first person narration, I might add. She's smiling at the memory of that night from half a year ago. This too is a fragment of these precious days. But I cannot afford to get distracted now. Because if he actively remembered it, wouldn't he be like, Okay, Archer's defending the bridge. Let's, you know, plan for it. Let's have a strategy, because he wants to kill me. Uh, it would be good for you to know beforehand, Saber. Yeah, this is like exactly how I was going before. Like, we wouldn't be talking casually if uh, if we were preparing like this. Even if we wanted to pretend we were being casual, we wouldn't be actually talking. It's not like in here. We'd just be trying to act or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, 
Saber's picking when it comes to disguises. Memories of the numerous expensive disguises she'd been wearing uh, last time. During the Fourth Holy Grail War, it seems... Expensive disguises. So there's the raincoat, which I'm sure costs a pretty penny. Her normal outfit, I'm sure, is fine. I'm not remembering other disguises, but it's been a while. She did mention that she had also been dressed up as a man in a black suit. Oh, during- oh, 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 okay, 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 never mind. Fate Zeros, never mind. Uh, she had been dressed up in a man as a man in a black suit. Saber's inability to dematerialize must have caused Kritsuku a lot of trouble as well. Wait, is she just straight up not able to do it? I thought she wasn't able to do it because Emi- because uh, of Emiya's, uh, failings in his abilities. I thought was th I thought that was the main reason. I know she's not great with magic, but... Like, I do actually have a visual memory of her in a suit. That does bring back a memory. Con contextually, very little else beyond that, but... Hmm, okay. There it is. いいでしょう。あの時の謝罪を兼ねてここで決着を… Two pairs of eyes that should not have been able to meet. Met. Each one is now aware of the other. An enemy that neither should have been able to see. The battle has begun. Tonight, I will cross this bridge. Shiro, <laughs> The road? Well, fantastic. Why? Yeah, but why is there no one here? an expressway even in the like the second shot an interval of 20 seconds a memory that grazes my past brain tells me that there are three shots left I expected nothing less from Saber we gained a lot from confirming his position from that last shot どういうことです。あれは。いいえ。こんなことができるのは一人だけだ。なぜ彼が私たちを狙うのです。まさかアーチャーともあろう者が聖杯戦争に乗ったというのですか。Do you not remember? 知らない。俺にわかるのはあいつが本気だってことだけだ。do you really not know? It feels like you completely and utterly understand everything, Emmy. Yeah, you also don't. The third shot. A grace period of two more shots. With the fifth, Saber's knees will give out, and the sixth will kill me. These are the unchangeable results that this tactic is leading to. Archer sniping is increasing in power with every shot. Each time Saber deflects one, he must be putting more magical energy into the next. The firing interval this time was 25 seconds. The next one will likely be 30. These intervals are his weakness. If we can attack him right after he fires, before he can charge the next round, we'll avoid the same fate that's befallen us before. But how? He's four kilometers away from us at a straight shot. On the roads we need to take to get to him, the distance is double that. Saber's Noble Phantasm, we can put up a fight, but with Excalibur, the area of impact is too large. 
There is the risk of sweeping down not only center building. There's the risk of sweeping down not only center building, but even the surrounding buildings. And on top of that, we're dealing with Archer. Knowing Saber's attacks as well as he does, he must have uh, he must have a defense against Excalibur. The best way to fight a skilled sniper is to get close enough to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But it would be impossible to get that close without him noticing us. So, if that's the case, all we have to do is close the distance at an extreme speed before he responds. Saber! I fix her with a meaningful stare. With those hawk eyes she's using to watch us. With those hawk eyes he's using to watch us, the move of my lips would give us away. Oh, you think so? Interesting. This fight would be decided in the instant. I guess he must be good at reading lips. I cannot let him discover what we're planning to do. The last command spell remaining on my left hand. I suppose at the same at the same time, this is sort of the last resort sort of situation, isn't it? I mean, no, no, we didn't, but okay. Save right self could retreat. But with me here, both of us will be killed. No, but wait, but if I can keep myself alive with the reinforcement, shouldn't that be enough to let us retreat? We should have prepared before we came here if I knew. What I... It's very unclear how much he knows, but whatever. Uh, to cross this bridge, I've got to bet everything on our timing, on this moment. I might be able to start over again from the beginning, but I can't just redo this part. But I can't redo just this part. Therefore, I better give it everything that I have. Losing the command spell is no big deal. All that matters is the fact of having defeated him, even if only once. Fourth shot. Saber's ability to repel his shots has reached the limits. There's no time. As always, this is the fastest I can manage. Not much time. Saber lowers her stance. She looks like a carnivorous animal, sensing up the moment before it springs. Her blade becomes visible. Cutting off all XX magical energy flow to the sword, Sarah pours all of her power into her own body. The firing hammers fall, one by one. Getting the timing right isn't all I have to do. I have two major problems. It will be after the command spell is released that my worth as Emmy Shiro will be tested. Ten seconds. Command spells allow for the temporary strengthening of servants. A powerful technique that converts that tremendous magical energy into energy for the servants. Enough power to fill even Saber's enormous circuit. The King of Knights, who ruled over the battlefields in the Age of Legends, shall be born. The order about to be given of the command spell is fly. This is no metaphorical flight. Saber will literally fly in a single leap from here to the roof of the center building. Saber once fought Ryder there in the past. A reenactment of that fight, no. No, if movement is limited to a straight line. Then by raising the amount of magical energy for the time she's in the air, the distance covered in one jump will increase. All of the magical power of the command spell is used to slowly to let her fly. Then it shouldn't be impossible to reduce the great distance between us down to zero. Five seconds. Opposing us is a nameless bowman. The heroic spirit of wrought iron, 
but he uses the novel phantasms. He traces as arrows. The name of the arrow being trained on us is Hurunting, Hound of the Red Plains. Adjustment plus five seconds. The delay increases. The bow drawn back to its greatest extent further increases its own power to combat Saber's magical energy combustion. The problem is in the timing. It would be too risky to launch her first or at the same time. As Saber herself is about to become an arrow, as she leaps before Archer fires, he will aim at her. Therefore, it has to be done immediately after the shot. In that tenth of a second after he lets his arrow go, that's when we strike. After Archer fires his full force shot, and before he charges the next round. No, immediately after he releases the arrow, she will drive her sword right through him. The roar of their swelling magical energy. A showdown that seems enough to shake the moon. Five. Still too early. Three. My command spell feels like it could tear off from strain. One. The creaking of the bowstring. His fingers aside. The target. Saber. A flash that reduces the time needed to cross a distance of 4,000 meters to nothing. All of Archer's magical power concentrated into the single enchanted sword. His arrow glides through the air, carrying sure death to its target. The name of that trace sword is Runting. An enchanted sword that will continue its assault on the target as long as the archer continues to aim. Even if it is deflected by Saber. Even if Saber could guard against it, that would not change. The results? No. The moment that Saber deflects is the same moment that the arrow roars towards its target. As long as Saber expends her energy on defense, Archer's victory will remain unshakable. That's right. As long as she expends her energy on defense. <clears throat> a mere instant, not even a fraction of a second. The instant that his fingers released the bowstring and fired. The defense, a saber, disappears from the bridge. The bowman sees through his enemy's true intention, but it's too late. The arrow has already been fired. Which one of them has now confirmed their victory? Should there be a bowman that can shoot his mark several hundred meters away, he is still bound by an ironclad rule. An arrow, once fired, cannot change its target. Whatever arrows that guarantee a definite hit he may have, a bowman cannot resist that law. Yet, it is by conquering that law that he is the rogue spirit of the bow. <laughs> the arrow is changing its path. No, it is a path that was meant to strike two enemies from the start. He's turned that same rule back on us. A launch saber has no means of dodging. The arrow transforms into a demonic bullet that will shatter the King of Knights. An unavoidable death, one nobody could escape. Yes. It is by rising above that fate that she is the rogue spirit of the sword. Light crosses the light. A tilting balance as if it were passing through. The blue light rises to the heavens as though singing his victory. The red light plummets to the abyss as though lamenting its defeat. You know what I said about them improving their, like, production value of just, like, 
Oh my god, it's just like how they like show scenes and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, leaving a huge shockwave in her wake. Saber is released. And nobody noticed, by the way. The timing was perfect. However, a simple command spell won't be enough to conquer this bridge. With my face in the blinding wind so powerful, it shakes the handrails. I stare down. The approaching bullet. Time stops. In a blank space of time shorter than a second, blood charges in my veins. One second after I use the command spell. No time to image. No time needed to image. That which I have forgotten. I'll use it all for this moment. Attention and fear take my breath away. My left hand is burning. I can see my death approaching in zero seconds. Torres. I grasp for breath, my tongue hanging out like tired dogs. Laws of physics and magic are rushing about. Time for... Time to formation. Zero seconds. Time to direct impact. Time! What? Was, was that a... Sh is that a shield? Is that like the shield that Archer used? Like way back when? Very, I'm not sure at the very least, but it looks like the bridge broke. That spectacle. Archer certainly witnessed it. An attack that poured all power down to that required to breathe. Into the left arm. The sparkling of the trace, noble phantasm. The tearing of layers of muscle. Coupled with a death defying counterattack. That boy managed a one-time-only defense. As far as the outcome of the battle, the bowman still has the potential to win. The boy's sword is broken, while the arrow, though repelled, still remains in flight. That arrow will soon reverse its course and find its target right between the boy's eyes. That's right. As long as the one who fired the arrow is still intact. Give it time, though. Dai go shakara ni biyojak. Rokusha me o tsugaeru izan ni ken o kamaeru koto mo deki na to wa. Sukoshi bakari hongyo ni modori sugita yo da. How ironic. It has always been this man's style. To use tactics unlike those of a bowman. The servant, who preferred close quarters combat with his twin swords to the bow, couldn't respond to Saber's attack because he had returned to using his true method of battle. Archer <laughs> He answers her praise with laughter. His lips curve into an expression not of content, but of fraternal respect. A light sound. As a sand being dispersed. Yeah, looks like he's... Nothing so awkward as the shedding of blood occurred. Even Servant bleeds while he's still alive. But when that life is definitively severed, all that remains is for him to return to Ash. Yes, I don't あなたが弓を取ったのなら、それは叱るべき理由があっての
Should he take Saber's courtesy as kindness or cruelty? When in battle, the knight carried both within her. There had been a time when he found that contradiction, that self-destructive strength of the heart that would have eaten away at a mere human being to be beautiful. No. Even now, he can't make himself forget it. Long ago, there had been a meeting. A scene had lasted less than a second. But... He would remember that scene vividly. Even when he had gone to hell. Locks of hair illuminated by the moonlight. When he shuts his eyes, even now that image remains in his heart. Scattering without gallantry, Archer is destroyed. His bitterness and defeat, all that is left. <laughs> Sheathing her sword, Saber bites her lip. Above her hangs the black moon. It is almost as if something toxic is about to drip from its cup-like silhouette, slowly, down onto the victor, to poison her. One hour later! Okay. Yeah, that was, that was great. <laughs> I, I will say. The, the first, the first Fate Stay Night had some good, uh, tense action scenes, but they definitely upped the ante. For stuff like that. They, they did a much better job at conveying the action at the very least. Uh, I dragged my body exhausted from that single attack up to the roof. Saber staring up the sky. A strange expression on her face makes me hesitant to call out to her. Does she know Archer's tale? Hmm. Does she understand, maybe? There's no vitality in Saber's voice. Archer isn't here, which means she's defeated him. She has no wounds that I can see, but leaping that great a distance must have been painful. Even I have to admit that was crazy. Back there, I was so abnormally exhilarated that I couldn't think of the consequences. We leave the roof. In doing the fight? No doubt about it. I move past one more new event. The Battle of the Bridge has come to an end for now. Archer has been defeated. The anomaly continues running rampant, and the night of the fourth day goes on in idle slumber. Completion is still a long way off, but for now, I'll rest. Even if that time hasn't come yet, even if I keep moving forward, then one way or another, the end will come into view. Oh, oh, okay, that's an ending? That wasn't the fourth day, was it? Huh. 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 Okay. 
Oh, okay, that's here now. Ah. Uh, did they, uh... Not entirely sure what's... I guess this looks new. Yeah, it's on the bridge, yeah. This might also be new. Two swords? Interesting. This also might be. Yeah, that's all. Uh... It's a very different art style, but yeah, I think that's just Fate Stay Night, ultimately. Yeah, I think that one, that one, maybe? Interesting. Okay. Well. <laughs> I still have... What is this? To I, Like, I didn't look at this before. Is this new, or... I vaguely remember something being here, but I didn't even think about it previously. I'm not sure, but I might come back to that in the soonish future. Out of curiosity. But, uh... That is an increase in stuff to do. Oh, boy. Mm. And I really want to do none of them. <laughs> oh, I feel like that's just a fantastic place to leave off on, if, uh, if anything. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it off on that. That, that was very good. That was, that was a nice climatic way to end it. Uh, if this ends up being on the shorter side because of everything, then I'll just do longer next time. So... Uh, yeah, that was, that was fantastic. So I'll see y'all next time. Drive safely, everyone.